these mm. creatures and all. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to kill them with, with just by using death psalms, by using prayers. Here we go. First of all, you say an Our Father before you begin the death psalms, and then you say Our Father afterwards. Why? To protect yourself. To protect your mind, your soul, your body, your spirit, because you're open in a time space of void portal, a vortex, a wormhole, a stargate into the spirit world. And you're going to literally grab hundreds of thousands of demons and hurl them at these people. Okay? And you don't need to name who. Okay? Your guardian angels are the ones that are going to tell those demons who to attack. Okay? And your guardian angels, of course, are sinless. They're flawless. They came from the Heavenly Father. They're there to protect you. So your guardian angels will take the death psalm, send it to the Heavenly Father, who will command the Heavenly Father to command the guardian angels, to command the demons, to go attack and kill those people that do not like you and are engaged in conspiracies against you. And you keep praying these things until there's no one left on the earth except us. Okay? Every day. Here we go. Our Father, and then you say, and Our Father afterwards to close that space-time portal. So you keep yourself safe. Our Father, Yahuwah, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As we too forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Here is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Omain. Now here's the three death psalms. Here we go. All right, get ready. This stuff is pretty hardcore. This is not for the faint of heart, but you need to know these things. You need to have them memorized so you can say them. And you can use this as a spiritual tactic. You can't get arrested for it. You can't be oppressed. Nothing can happen to you because the, the, the people that try to per prosecute in the court of law, they'll be thrown out of court and they'll be laughing at them and say that those people are delusional. You know, guys just praying is just saying a bunch of words. How that person died just from words, you see? So you use that against them. Here we go. In my distress, I cried unto Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Yahuwah, from lying lips and deceitful tongues. What shall be given unto thee? And what shall be done unto thee, thou false tongues? Sharp barrels of the mighty with coals of Jonah. For woe is me that the Shashur and the Meshach, that they dwell in the tents of Kadar. My soul alone dwelleth with those that hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. O Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, to whom vineyard belongeth, O Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, to whom vineyard belongeth, show thyself, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, and render a reward to the Luciferian Satanists and atheists. Yahuwah, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph, how long shall they go to and speak hard things, and all the workers of iniquity boast of themselves? They break in pieces thy people, O Yahuwah, and afflict thine heritage, they slay the widow and the stranger, and murder the fatherless, and yet they say, Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, shall not see, and neither shall the power of Jacob, Yahweh, regard it. Understand you, British, among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? He didn't the ear shall not hear, he that form the eye shall not see, he that chastise of the heathen shall not correct, he that teach him man knowledge shall not know, Yahuwah knoweth the thoughts of man that their vanity. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, no Yahuwah, and teachest them out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest in the days of adversity until the pit be dig for the wicked, for Yahuwah will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. <laughs> But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all of the upright in heart shall follow it. So who shall rise up for me against these evildoers? Who will stand up for me against these workers of iniquity? And this Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahweh, she had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slippeth, the mercy of Yahweh held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts, they made that comfort to light my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity, shall the throne of Luciferianism have fellowship with thee, which remit mischief by a law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But Yahushua, Yahweh, she is my defense, and Yahweh is the rock of my refuge, and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and cut them off in their own wickedness. Yeah! Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, shall cut them off. Hold not thy peace, O power of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are open against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue that compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love there are my adversaries but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded my evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thou wicked men over them and let Satan stand at their right hand. When they shall be judged, let them be condemned and let their prayers become sins. Let their days be few and let them never take their office. Let their children be fatherless and their wives widows. Let their children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let the extortion catch all that they have and let the strangers spoil their labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto them. Neither let there be any to favor their fatherless children. Let the posterity be cut off. And then the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of their fathers be remembered with Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahushua. Let not the sin of their mothers be blotted out. Let them be before Yahuwah continually. That he may cut off the memory of them from the earth because they remember not to show mercy with persecuted poor and needy people. That they might even 
lay the broken in heart. As they left cursing, so let the curses come upon them. As they delighted not in blessings, so let the blessings be far from them. As they clothe themselves with cursing, like with their garments, so let they come into their bowels like water, like oil into their bones. Let it be unto them as a garment which covered them for a girdle where they girded continually. Let this be the reward of our adversaries from Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahweh, Let this be the reward of them that speak evil against our souls. But do thou for us, O power, the master, for thy name's sake, because our mercy is good, deliver thou us. For we are poor and needy, and our heart is wounded within us. We are gone like the shadow when it declineth. We're tossed up and down as a locust on these, and we do fasten our flesh rather than fatness. We became also reproaching them, and looked upon us, they shake their heads. Help us, O master, our power. O save us according to thy mercy, that they may know that it is thy hand, that thou, Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahweh, have done it. Let them curse, but bless thou. When they arise, let them be ashamed, but let us, your servants, rejoice. Let our adversaries be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle. I will greatly praise Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahweh, with my mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at our right hand, the right hand of the poor, to save us from those that condemn our souls. Our Father, Yahuwah, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we too forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever, O my when you say that you're sorry, when you say that you forgive people, when you forgive enemies, when you forgive devil worshippers, when you forgive these evil people, what you're doing is you're bringing attention to them. The Heavenly Father ignores those demon worshippers, but when you forgive them, you bring an attention to them, and then when he sees how evil they are, he not only does not forgive them, but he kills them. You better call an ambulance. It looks like infectious hepatitis. Where's your phone? Over there. What I what I want. First we're going to get you to the hospital and you'll have to speak with the juvenile authorities. We don't know if there's a missing report out on you. Don't spend a lot of time looking. My dad was glad to see me go. You know, in my whole life I've never really been happy. This is the first place I've ever felt a part of something. I got the law. The ambulance is on the way. I'm taking more than a few minutes. We're not working here.